Hello and welcome to the Hammerwood Solar Energy Project. The battery bank here at Hammerwood has uh, held up very well um, for something like three years and I'm changing over batteries at the moment so everything's in a bit of mess with wiring and old batteries that have come out and new batteries that are going to go in. But I've been starting work on another system for a small cottage um, and uh, the uh, main uh, battery bank has been working through a power jack 8000 LF and that has two transformers in it to which I've added a third from a spare unit so it's the equivalent of 15,000 LF um, and that powers um, up to a, a 30 amp ring main in the house. I've done all sorts of things like even out the power so that there's less ripple uh, damaging the batteries using car supercapacitors. So for uh, the small cottage that I'm setting up for, I've been wondering about whether to use uh, a PowerJack 8000 uh, LF, but these only have one transformer in nowadays, um, and the transformers have been uh, changed, they're meant to be better or more powerful and they now have an AS number on it. We'll see uh, that it's an AS4 that they're using here and I think that these transformers are beginning to be quite standard in China. Now there's another inverter company on the scene called Solimba and I've heard quite good things about these and this is a very nice little box. This is their 3000 LF and that's quite an interesting unit. They've got terminals nicely laid out and a couple of plug sockets here for things to go in and I've got an electric fire and a kettle to test. Through the side, if I grab my lamp, we can see the construction here with electronics on the top and the transform at the bottom it's an AS3 they're using. I don't know if we can see AS3. Anyway, they're using an AS3 rather than the AS4. Now, the 5000 watt power jack is using an AS2. So, this and the power jack inverters give actually only half of what they're meant to. So, I've plugged this in and we can see here um, at what it's doing. And I'm going to turn the kettle on um, and as we see the turn the kettle on um, we can see that that's uh, 1.9 kilowatts and here I've got an electric fire I'm going to turn that on to one kilowatt so we're now taking three kilowatts as we take three kilowatts which is the specified amount the alarm light comes on um, but it's working quite happily. If I turn the electric fire off to two, kilowatt, to the two kilowatts, then uh, the alarm goes off. So there's three kilowatts, and I'm going to push this to four. And when we go to four, it's still working. It's 3.8 kilowatts. The alarm light is on, and it's beeping. You can perhaps hear the beeping, but it's clearly quite happy supplying that. Um, it's now flashing, so it supplies 4 kilowatts for an adequate time. I turned it back to 3, that's fine, the kettle's boiling, ouch! Um, steam is passing my hands. This Solenba inverter seems to be quite good. The quiescent current is quite good, let's measure it. Um, so here's our meter, and this is a DC clamp meter. Um, you have to make sure when getting clamp meters they will measure DC. Um, we'll put it on to uh, 40 amps um, and zero it. Right, so that's zeroed. That's taking one and a half amps, which isn't bad. When we turn a two kilowatt kettle on, um, we're looking at 95 amps. When we turn the electric fire on, 
it's taking 145 amps and 4 kilowatts of course um, that's taking uh, just over 200 amps um, so this unit's quite good clearly putting out 20, 20 amps maximum uh, one can't complain of that here's the little cottage which is going to be part solar powered we've got one panel which is going to be on this wall facing east two facing south here I've got a, a series of small panels which I'm going to be putting either side of the window and there'll be a panel on the roof a panel on this side of the tree and a panel on this side here and here's our battery bank of 40 uh, 12 volt 80 hour batteries um, we've got an EP solar uh, controller there to charge and this top shelf is the space reserve for an inverter um, how much this will do I don't know but it's intended to do the evening power um, until off peak electricity cuts in at half past midnight um, powering electric fires, fridges whatever people want to use in the evenings after the grid tie panels cease to be uh, supplying the grid so I'll put this on the time switch probably to power the place uh, from about 6 o'clock in the evening to uh, midnight something like that and probably 7 o'clock in the morning until um, 9.30 something like that